Hi, I am Inan. This presentation is about my final year project, predicting gender from structural and functional connectome via multi-view graph neural networks. Neural image methods such as magnetic resonance imaging (MRI) are widely used to study the human brain, and much attention has been devoted to identifying the neural basis of behavioral differences across genders. Elucidating the differences between the male and female brain is a key problem in neuroscience due to its impact on any downstream analysis, such as disease biomarker discovery. For instance, autism spectrum disorder is more prevalent in boys, while major depressive disorder is more common in females. With the success of deep learning methods in areas like computer vision and natural language processing, Applying deep learning techniques to neural imaging data has been an active research area, and some research findings have shown promising results. However, there are several limitations. Neural imaging data are scarce and high-dimensional. This causes model overfitting to be a serious problem, which is detrimental to model generalizability. Also. Most of the existing studies focus on a single neural imaging modality. Biological systems are more completely described by combining structural and functional analysis. For instance, structural MRI captures anatomical details, while functional MRI captures the dynamics of brain activities via measuring changes in brain oxygenation. Studies using only a single modality misses out. On cross-model interaction effects, thus multiple modalities should be used for a complete analysis. Simple multimodal fusion methods, such as concatenating data from multiple modalities, is a problematic method as it aggravates the overfitting problem. In this project, we propose the Brain GAT, a novel multimodal GNN architecture. That utilizes both subject information and population information. We can construct graphs from neural imaging data using two methods. First, we can build a brain graph for every subject, whereby each node carries some information from one region of interest, and edges represent the relationship between ROIs. Another way is to build a population graph for a group of subjects. Each node carries some information of one subject, and edges represent relationship between different subjects. The intuition behind population graph is that similar subjects should have similar predictions. In population graphs, the quality of subject features is crucial. Directly using high-dimensional single modality data as subject feature for population graph misses out on the cross-model in interaction effects. Therefore, it is desirable to encode a holistic representation of each subject's brain by using multiple modalities. This introduces a new design question of aggregating the multimodal information. Simply concatenating data from multiple modalities multiplies the dimensionality of the subject feature, resulting in severe overfitting. Our method uses a multimodal brain graph for subject representation learning, which incorporates information from multiple modalities. Our method consists of two stages. The first stage is to use a brain graph to learn and extract. Informative subject representations. Next, the extracted subject representations are used to build the population graph. The prediction for each subject is obtained by performing population graph node classification. We benchmark our method with logistic regression (DGLCN) and joint GCN on the PPMI dataset and HCP dataset. Our method is able to reach more than 75% accuracy on PPMI dataset and over 80% accuracy on HCP dataset, which outperforms all other methods. 
This demonstrates the robustness of our method across subjects with various backgrounds. We also performed ablation studies to analyze the effects of our design choices. We can observe when using only brain graphs. Using both F fMRI and DTI results in a higher accuracy than using single modality. However, when we use factorized matrices as inputs to population graph, we observe adding an additional modality can decrease the model performance. This is because simply concatenating vectorized matrices causes the dimensionality of the node features to be too high, resulting in severe overfitting. Lastly, we evaluated the two-stage method that uses both brain and population graph, which shows using both graphs is, ben is beneficial. Overall, our ablation studies show the importance of using multiple modalities and how using a brain graph to extract subject representations is crucial. In conclusion, we proposed a novel multimodal GNN architecture that uses both structural connect connectome and functional connectome matrices. Our proposed two-stage architecture allows both imaging features and relationship between subjects to be captured. We are able to outperform the baseline architectures and existing state-of-the-art methods. The brain GAT architecture can be easily extended to other imaging modalities and non-imaging features. Special thanks to Professor Jagath and Mr. Chan for their support and guidance throughout the project. Thank you for listening.